Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. They barely survived this crash. Air travel is considered safer than road transport and way faster than any other mode of transport. Over the years, people have steadily adopted air transport. Just as the famous coin goes, man is to error, it's obvious that even the greatest of man's invention is prone to mishaps. From technical glitches to birds to hijackers, here is a list of the most gruesome plane crashes where people walked out alive to tell the tale. Hold on steadfast as you witness some insanely miraculous escapes. Number 8. Miss Me Carl Hijack It isn't often that a hijacking makes the list of most horrible plane crashes where the mastermind hijackers is a lone survivor. A strange tale of how this hijacker was the only one who survived a plane crash they caused. Way back in 1974, a small aircraft with a capacity of 26 people was en route to Me Carl from Hong Kong. As it was flying over the China Sea, it was about to experience its first ever commercial hijacking. Four men from among the passengers tried to take control of the aircraft. They forced their way to the pilots and demanded that they surrender controls over to them. A struggle broke out where the hijackers ended up killing both the pilots. This resulted in the plane taking a nosedive. From the wreckage, there was only one survivor a Chinese man known as Mr. Wang, who was found floating unconscious by some fishermen. Mr. Wang admitted to being the mastermind behind the hijacking, explaining that they planned to hijack the plane and hold the wealthy passengers for ransom. His story is the only one we can go by as there are no other survivors to corroborate. Some speculate that the hijackers wanted to steal some gold, which was often carried by this specific aircraft. Mr. Wang was jailed for only three years, despite being the one who led to 26 deaths. This makes him the only lone survivor to survive such a horrible crash and be jailed afterward. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 7. 12-Year-Old Francesca Willis Little Francesca was out vacationing with her friend and their parents as they did every so often. This time around, they headed to Panama to enjoy the scenery and just unwind. While taking a cruise on their Cessna, it crashed into a volcano. This gruesome crash ended up killing everyone on board except Francesca. She had not only survived this crash, but had been alive for two and a half days without any food or water before she was retrieved. How did she survive, you wonder? To put it short, she was saved by her luggage. She was pinned upside down in her seat. She had luggage that had fallen on her, which happened to be a good thing. This luggage insulated her from the cold temperatures outside. Upon getting her checked out at the hospital, it was found that she had not suffered any broken bones. Surprisingly, the worst was that she had a few scratches here and there and was clear to go home after a three-day stay for observation. Number 6. Flight 16, Captain Tattoo's Rona A flight that left Chopin Airport on November 1, 2011 encountered a hydraulic leak. It was such a bad leak that it took out all the three landing gears. This meant that the wheels of the airplane would not deploy when they would go in for a landing. Lucky for the passengers on the plane, they had Captain Tattoos on the wheel. He was a quick thinker and had devised a plan that would save them all if it worked out. He opted to waste the fuel in a bid to get the plane to slow down and lower its gears a little. Once the fuel tank emptied, he radioed air control requesting that they evacuate the airport. The plane would come in on a belly landing. They were able to land and evacuate the plane in just about 90 seconds. For sure, the plane was damaged, but not one single person had passed away or been hurt in any major way. Number 5. Captain David Cronin and Flight 811 
If you are a fan of airplane crash drama movies, the events in this occurrence will sound rather familiar. This is because directors have used this realistic occurrence as a basis of thriller movies. On February 24, 1989, a flight was en route from San Francisco to Sydney. It encountered a problem, which is common in movies that contain air crashes. Shortly after taking off from a stopover in Honolulu, one cargo door suffered a cargo door failure. This caused a depression in the plane and ripped off a part of the plane. This force at such speed caused seven rows of seats to be ripped away too. Fortunately, Captain Cronin was able to turn the plane around and landed at Honolulu even with a hole on its side. The captain was running the plane at a speed of 200 knots when he landed the plane. Besides faulty electronic panels, his flaps were slightly damaged, giving him a small chance of hope. He managed to stop the plane in time thus saving 337 out of his 346 passengers on board. To date, it's still considered one of the worst air crashes. Sadly, the captain passed away at 81. Number 4. Captain Tammy Joe Schultz Captain Tammy was tasked with being in charge of the safe transportation of passengers on Flight 1380 for Southwest Airlines on April 17th of 2018. She was up to the task, but did not expect what was to happen while on this journey. The airplane suffered a rather rare airplane malfunction while en route. The left side engine suffered one of the worst engine failures. So to say, the engines blew up mid-air on that flight. This led to shrapnel being sprayed in the air, thus causing the cabin to depressurize, creating a hole in the cabin. While the passengers tried to gather some courage and endure the turbulence, one woman met an unfortunate death. Miss Jennifer was sucked through the hole in the cabin. This was despite the great effort passengers made to pull her back inside the craft. An additional seven passengers suffered minor injuries from the shrapnel. Fortunately, they had Tammy Jo as their captain. She was one of the first women pilots in the Navy. She was also one of the first ever to fly a tactical fighter. On this fateful day, her skills came in rather handy as she was able to arrange a landing at the International Airport of Philadelphia after that incident. She miraculously managed to land the plane without losing any other passenger. Number 3. Cecilia, the 4-year-old survivor In 1987, the Northwestern Airlines Flight 255 experienced one of the worst aviation disaster accidents ever, which resulted in 154 people aboard the flight losing their lives and another two on the ground. The plane started to encounter problems as soon as it took off. This forced the pilot to crash land on a highway. It was amazing how four-year-old Cecilia managed to survive the crash. She was the lone survivor and suffered severe injuries, from broken collarbone and leg to third-degree burns and even a fractured skull. She had lost both her parents and brother who was with her when the crash happened. This forced authorities not to release her name but describe this lucky little girl. Even without the name, her grandparents were able to identify identify her and applied for custody. In 2012, about 25 years after the accident, a documentary channel tracked her down. And for the first time in 25 years, she spoke out about the accident. The documentary managed to track down a further 13 other survivors of respective air crashes in a bid to tell their story. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. United Airlines Flight 232 In July of 1989, Flight 232 was bound for Chicago from Denver, in which it was assumed impossible to have any issues. This was in conclusion to numerous analyses and tests done on the plane, checking for any possible failures that could occur. Thus, no measures or solutions had been thought of when this incident occurred. It was about an hour into the flight when a fan disc in the tail of the plane broke. This caused pieces of metal flying through the rear of the plane, thus severing the only three hydraulic systems of the plane. This event left the pilot in no control over the plane. 
the crew immediately contacted air traffic control, who were ultimately unable to help find a solution to this problem. Luckily, there were four pilots on board, and in cooperation, were able to coax the plane to Sioux City, Iowa. They used the plane's engine to steer it most of the way, until it was time to land. They unfortunately came in too fast, crash landing on the runway. The plane burst into flames, engulfing the lives of 100 people. Despite this great loss, the pilot's fast response ended up saving 185 passengers. Number 1. Captain Shorn's Timer A strange disaster hit a Boeing 737, which was en route to Honolulu from Hilo on the 28th of April, 1988. The plane ride was smooth since takeoff, only to encounter issues midway. Part of the first class section's roof blew off, leaving the passengers and crew deprived of oxygen and the icy wind slapping onto their faces. More interestingly was that there wasn't any soundproof plan if such a thing happens. This meant that the captain had to work through a rescue plan out of sheer gut feeling and a bucket load of courage. He came up with a personal made-up plan, which worked and they had touched down safely. Upon accounting, only one of his crew members had died, and 65 out of the total 89 passengers had been injured. The survivors were taken off the plane, opting for a boat ride instead. The inspection done on the plane deduced that the crash was simply caused by corrosion, natural wear and tear on the plane due to it serving in a coastal environment.